gonna go play a game builder garage Oof. what is this stupid wall doing here oh my god <laughs> could do that. Oh, I shouldn't have skipped leg day. Hey, I could use those blocks to make a helicopter. Mission control, I'm ready for takeoff. Christopher, aka Klinga, and today we're playing Game Builder Garage. Now I've been really excited about this game, and if you don't know, this game is a game where you can build your games. Game Builder Garage. So here we are at the title screen. You could do free programming, which we haven't unlocked yet. But once I do, we will probably make some bad games. <laughs> Or we could get taught how to make some good games with some interactive lessons. So let's do that. Woohoo! Oh, hey, look, this is me. He looks kind of like um, a, if Big Bird uh, lost all his fur, had a square head, uh, got a paint job like Sonic the Hedgehog, and had some weird white skeleton sleeves. That's who we're playing as. And uh, you can't tell me any differently. Oh, uh, hi, hi, Bob. Bob. He's Bob. I like Bob. Yeah, I can't finish the game. I can't jump. I can't press B. I understand your frustration. You can't jump by pressing B, so you can't reach the apple. But there's a good reason for all of that. You see, the thing is, the game is still under construction. Well, why would you make me play a game that's still not ready? Isn't that kind of stupid? Bob, in situations like this, I say, don't get mad, get programming. But I am getting ahead of myself. How could you get ahead of yourself? You don't have one. Ooh, do they have some kind of family relations? Or maybe he's just that kind of sweet old person, you know, like how every old person just kind of acts like they've known you their whole life, even though it's the first time you've met. Yeah, the note on, woohoo! But let's get down to business. We'll use the Game Builder Garage to finish this game. You're going to use programming to finish this game. And if I don't want to, huh? He's telling me that I'm going to. He's not even giving me a choice. I don't like that very much, Bob. Bob. And also, can't you stop moving? I feel like I'm gonna get dizzy. Now, hold down A and move the cursor. The way I show you, and we can make this connection. Whoa, whoa. Uh, jump. Yeah! And presto! We have made it so pressing B makes the character jump. We can jump, guys! Never been so happy to move my legs. Seriously. Why do you think I picked to do this as a little career? I sit. I sit. We'll be making seven games in these interactive lessons. First lesson, we'll make Tag Showdown. My name's Alice. Please don't forget or call me Bob or anything like that. But you know, if you're going to make your own game, you'll need to understand what mechanics do. That's why I've set you up with some checkpoints to help you. I'd like you to come to the checkpoint before lesson one. I'll be waiting and jump. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Yep, you're Alice. This is a checkpoint. Alice's guide. Can you shut up, Alice? Can I just play now? I wish that they would stop talking so that I could make my guy do stuff instead of listening to Tee Hee. I don't want to listen to Tee Hee. Yeah, I get to do something. Woohoo! 
Now the person's gonna end up here. I guess we should try it out. Hey, now I'm over here. Well, that's real nice, Alice. You thought I couldn't scroll the screen? Alice thinks very little of me. That's why I like Bob better, even though I still don't like Bob. You know, when you don't like Bob, but you don't like Alice more. No Don always got your back, but Bob and Alice, Bob and Alice suck. But these Nodon people, you know, they, they love you. And it's it's good to feel loved. Tee hee! What do you mean, how do you wonder? What, what is there to wonder? I gotta jump up and get it. I gotta grab it. Oh. Nice! Hmm, I wonder how hard this is gonna be. Uh, is it forward? No, no, no. No, it can't be forward. Left, left. Action. Jump! It's jump! It's, it's, it's jump! Yes! It's jump! Guys, it was jump. Okay, tag showdown, people. We gotta, I don't, I don't know, probably tag people. Hello, peeps. You know, I always liked the person guy, but you know, when he said the word peeps, I was all in. Abida. Sounds like an anime character. We want a stick note on. You're Boinga, right? No, I'm not Boinga. No, it is I, a Woing. Hmm, left and right, yeah. Dude, sometimes he'll make names shorter and then sometimes they'll make them longer. Dude, this guy, this person guy, this guy is cool. Yeah, I, I'd be fine hanging out with him. I'd be like, hey, oh, who's your friend, Christopher? And I'd be like, oh, it's just person note on. Why is he so tall? I don't I don't know. He's he's really tall. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got big bird's nose and a blocky head, yeah. And also, I'm probably going to get copyrighted because I'm singing a Sonic the Hedgehog song. Oh, come on! I've cleared step one! Yeah! Boing, bravo! Great job, buddy. Oh, look, now we got the object guy who, you know, is hat. Tell me who you think he reminds me of. Maybe, uh, Mr. Rossetti? We're gonna need to decide where we're gonna put the entire level! Well, we're gonna put it about here. Yeah. Hey guys, look, it's my brother Parker. He's here. Great job. Here he is, he's still here. Great job. Parker, you wanna say anything else? All right, bro. Hi guys. What's I didn't up? Chrysler has a new, Chrysler has a pretty cool game. Yo, Parker always says the best stuff. And that's my brother, Parker. Hello, darlings. I must say, you're looking radiant today. Whatever I frame will appear vividly and thrillingly on the game screen. I remember back in 1959 when I was vivid and thrilling. We always used to go on those scary rides. It was called Getting Older. Yeah, a bit bigger. Woo! Yeah, now you're a bit bigger. Yeah, we're out of the screen! Yeah, he's out of the screen because you didn't let us put him in the screen. Okay, let's go back and fix that. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can! Easy! Hey, Nokia! Mr. B what? There's no floor! Look, now I can see the person reflected on the game screen. Yikes, but not for long. Yeah, he went down into to the abyss. Poor guys, um, he's kind of dead.
Bob the Builder. Can we fix it? Bob the Builder. Yes, we can. Hello, the name's Object Node On. Object Node On underneath the Person Node On. To adjust the property setting so it doesn't fall anymore. Now it should float! Dude, you can wall jump if you press B near a wall. Dude, Mario's got nothing on this guy. Look how far he jumps. I mean, I had to learn that the hard way. This guy can jump. Can jump over my head just fine. Making the floors, making the floors, making the walls, making Killer. the walls. Yay! Yeah. I hereby declare step two is complete. Or you could just make the person smaller. This will have the same effect as making the level bigger. Dude, now he's as small as me, dude. Dude, honestly, I'm a small kid, like, you know? For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Hmm, yes. My mathematical stuff says that I am uh, very short. Uh, you can see here, um, that's not a bad doodle of Spongebob, that's mathematical stuff. Uh, I was just going to get something for reference to so show how short I am, and I found this weird science dude with glasses. He took my doodle of Spongebob. Yeah, what happens to our character over on the game screen? I'm sure he gets smaller. Yeah, and copy it. So we can make him really, really sm big. Or we can make him super duper small. Looks like a toothpick. And now we have a platform to stand on. Nice little toothpicky platform. You know, maybe I can put my beak in it. Look, I'm putting my I'm putting my beak in it. Yeah, uh, this is the corn that I just took out of Big Bird's beak. Hey, so I was going to make a song like the Floors and Walls song about placing a bunch of toothpicks, but I didn't really feel inspired to do that. So instead, what I'm doing is telling you about how I was going to make a song about making toothpicks. And um, that's what you're listening to now. Hey, look, it's Slopey now. Make it a little bit smaller. Over here. Copy. Over here. Woo! We got step three! But anyways, that will wrap it up for today. This was Game Builder Garage. Very fun. Um, I definitely want to do another video about this. Maybe when I get free play so that I can make games freely and not have to do what they're telling me to. Or maybe I can play some other people's games, which would probably be very fun as well. Goodbye! Hey guys, so I finished the game later that night, and it's actually a pretty cool game. The tagger is the one in red, and the runner is the one in blue. If the tagger hits the runner, then the runner explodes into a million bajillion pieces. All the while there's independent balls that come flying down from the top and crash down on you! If they hit either the tagger or the runner, uh, they also explode into a million bajillion pieces. Now, I was just playing by myself, but you can play two-player, which is pretty cool. Anyways, Game Builder Garage is a great game for people just trying to learn. As I said in the video, though, the characters in the game talk way, way too much. It's good to explain stuff, but when you're talking for no reason that's not fun but uh yeah see you guys whenever i do another video